Following last episode, somebody left a comment that was so insane, so completely out there that, my God, it just might work. Now, in this mod pack, I've been very tunnel visioned on, on, on certain things, the survivability of the defenses, and I've been ignoring a lot of the other aspects of what is still ultimately RimWorld. I've simplified a massive amount. The, the, the ideologies are simply just one ideology where you survive. That's it. <laughs> That's ironic. <laughs> The biotech stuff has been massively simplified, but the bioengineering and the xenotypes have been core to this entire playthrough, right? You're either a baseliner or you're a mushroom. You're either cured or you're not. But there are still those abandoned labs out there. There are still potentially things that we can do to our own people that maybe would help out. Here's what I'm getting at. Here was the suggestion. What if we found a way to get the gene infector... But nothing else. Whether we put Will in it. What kind of dickhead watches the TV like that? Get down. Go, go and sit. What if we use the extractor to get the gene infector and then we infected someone, say, for example, Timon, our uh, cyborg man who we slowly rebuilt from whatever we scrounged up here. What if he infects them with Baseliner? Will it work? Is it total lunacy? I don't know. But I mean, that would be a much more effective cure. It'd be something for Big Brain Kai, our legendary bioengineer, to try and figure out. But my god, what if we give them a taste of their own medicine? What if we send him out there to infect them? And who knows, maybe from that point, it's a chain reaction. Some of the mushrooms fight the other mushrooms. Some are infected with the baseliner gene already. They spread that on. It's, it's a self-propagating system. Either way, that's not something we worry about today, because this city is still exceptionally dangerous for everybody involved. Now, lots of people pointed out in the comments that, oh yeah, a lot of the doors had burst open, but I'm not sure why. Because there clearly are no hostiles. I mean, I've been rambling about biotech for the past five minutes and no one has turned up. Makes me wonder if it's like uh, uh, when you trap in a wild animal, uh, when, you, when you lock them in a building, they'll break down the door to try and escape, to try and find food. I wonder if that's the same thing. I wonder if there was some in here that we boxed in that we're trying to find a way out and maybe even vice versa now if the front door is hanging off i think we probably want to start with throwing down some more defenses more so than doing anything else oh shit are we totally out of steel again oh god timon fire up the helicopter this could be dangerous but i feel like it's been a long time since we've gone out there and bought some stuff back and we have a lot of choices we found three ancient complex four ancient complexes a vault some of the ancient hydroponics there's a pristine ruins there too I think we'll start with Old Faithful, right next door, the ancient complex. That'll do. And then we pray that while Timon's away, we don't get... What are you running away from? Big Brain Kai is incapable of combat. Chef Linguini, help her out. Something's after the chef. Hello? Anybody there? We good? Okay, you're safe. You're fine. It's okay. Be brave. Okay, we've got to be super fast because, my God, this is dangerous to leave those people unattended. Especially when I'm not paying attention to them. Right, go squad fast. I will admit, the steel is kind of the side project. If we could find the climate adjuster, my God, what a difference that would make. I'm not super committed to freezing the whole planet, okay? It, it does seem like cutting off your nose to spite your face a little bit, but it would make things a lot safer. Oh, Hello there. Fast as you like. Crack open a couple with the boys. We found package farmers. Don't really need that one. Crack it open. Come on, Simon. Hyperweave. And then... Any time now. Any time now. We've got camel wool. <laughs> not amazing. Not amazing. We'll take the chem fuel. We'll take the components. We need to try and take more chem fuel. Or, or find more chem fuel than we're burning through, right? I didn't look around this base at all. Oh, Vanometric power cell is so good. Holy shit. Yeah, give me all of this. We're taking it all apart. Let's just blast off to the next one. We'll do, maybe we'll do two... Then we'll call it there and go back, unload, and make sure everything is safe, and then we'll rinse and repeat. It's not that much fuel, I'm well aware. It's just we haven't got any way to make fuel anymore. Hey, where's the complex, though? Hello? God damn, look at the size of this damn map. Ancient crypto pods. Oh, Timon's army grows another size this day. Get the hell out of the way. Show me. Nothing. Come on. Give me some hermetic crates, though. Ooh, security crate. Go, crack it open now. Show me. Show me. Show me. I don't like finding one of those coupled with that sound. That's not a combo I like to hear. Timon, where is it? Must be down there. Okay, I think we're probably safe. I think we're probably okay. <laughs> what a mess. What's that? Bionic stomach. Okay, that's not really what I'm after, to be honest with you. And then uh, nothing in here. We could hack that fast, and you can crack that one open for me. Show me, show me, show me. Climate adjuster. What's that? Locust armor master. Work. Oh, that's kind of cool. Spare set. Sleep accelerators. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Hospital beds. Actually, we don't have any hospital beds, as far as I recall. Boom, moving on. Sorry, how much steel did we get from that? Uh, 1,500 in total so far. Complex number three, come on. You gotta show me a climate adjuster, please. We're dying out here. Ah, oh, okay, 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 okay. Not, not today. Not today, thank you. Let's be fast, Timon. Uh, you know what, this time, how about, how about I do the sensible thing and we... 
take all these apart before I uncover more anti-grain warheads or other very, very dangerous things. Oh, hello. Welcome back to the land of the living. Let's start cracking this open and move on fast. Sim thread I don't want. Come on, security crate. Come on. Oh, what the hell is a mech gestation processor? I don't even know what that is. Fortified body, dark ashen skin. You gotta bear in mind, there is still that negative of the metabolic efficiency. Tim and could eat that. It would also put him in a gene coma for a few days so we wouldn't be able to get him home. More importantly, the man would eat so, so much more. I think I missed a room? Nope, it's a dead end. From this one, we're able to bring back a shitload of wood, which isn't chem fuel, but it certainly can be by the time we get it back to Brig Brain Kai. You don't want to take anything else? There's like loads of simple meals. I'll take a few of those, I suppose. Lovely corn. We got, remember, we gotta leave some for Tim and Sami. It's, it's how we do business. It's, it's only fair. Take the chem fuel. We're almost full up. We're not the bad guys. We're not gonna rob them and leave them destitute after just being woken up. We've got to give them plenty of resources. And yes, you're right. I don't want an enormous colony wealth. I'm so glad you noticed. Okay, where's the bloody way in here? I don't think it's much to ask. I just want a super weapon of unbelievable power. Is that, is that too much? Huh? Have I not earned that? Okay. Components. We love components. Thank you. I'll take that. More solar panels for me. Chem fuel. We absolutely love chem fuel. But you know what? All that chem fuel we've got to put to good use into bringing something worthwhile back home. What was that stutter? You saw that. Uh, is that metagaming? To be like, okay, there's probably a raid because it just stuttered slightly. Fuck. <gasps> Hello there. <laughs> you telling me that was a drop pod raid entirely in Chef Will's bedroom? Mariana, can you leap out? Is that door open far enough yet? Oh, uh, we got like a like a red alert situation here. Sorry to wake you all up, but this is uh mega fucked. That's the actual scientific term. Will is already a mushroom. You can't hurt him any further. They can infect him with spores, which I would not be... Okay, this is actual bullshit. They've both been infected. Bruh, you're telling me you dropped 11 people directly on his bedroom? What a load of old shit. Will can jump out. Go, go, Will. Go, go, go. Will, 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 Will. Oh, the door shut. The door shut. Can he pop a comeback command before he goes down? Will that work? I don't know if that'll work while he's down, whether or not that combat command will stay active, but that could be the difference between life and death. Okay, we've got three possible combatants here. Tim, and how fast can you fly home, big man? Crack that one open. Just in case. Oh, that'll be, have to be the final thing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Skill trainer and animals. Can I do anything with that? Not really. Not really, admittedly. Reform the caravan. Get them home fast. I'll be honest, I think this will all be over by the time they get back. Either we'll be totally dead. I don't need fucking 400 kibble. We might be totally dead by then. Canned produce. Gourmet desserts. But if they do survive, dinner's on Timon. Oh my god. Holy shit. Did we find Chef's old restaurant? Look at this place. Oh, I'm not complaining. That's amazing. Thank you. We're going to be eating for weeks. No, no, no. Hold on. Timon's an honorable man. Leave them some food. Leave these people some food, damn it. Another thousand steel. Good God. That's not 3,000 on this map, by the way. That's 3,000 in the helicopter in total. Oh. Oh, shit. Hello there. Heavily damaged infinite chem reactors. Don't mind if I do. Oh, my God. No, this is silly. This is too much. No, leave some for them. Leave some, leave some for Tim and his friends, okay? You know how this works. We've got a deal. That's already enough to keep what we need going. Okay, and that's the important part. Enough for them, enough for us. Land the helicopter somewhere maybe off center a little bit. And then good luck. Get ready to fight some mushrooms. We'll just stay down. We'll just stay down. Okay, pop that door. Hold it open. Stand there, stand there, stand there. Second they come out of that door, you start blasting. Holy shit. If we can hold out till daytime so the solar panels come back on, the turrets come back us up. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're about to burst through any second. We're not going to make it till dawn. Zazu's here. Okay. Run this way. Run this way. Have you got fire a world center? Why aren't you shooting? You're telling me you can't see them from there. That's total bullshit. Fucking K then. Run, 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 run. Run and gun. Run and gun. Run and gun. Look, they're not running and gunning again. Oh, you're doing me a frighten. It's because they keep picking up multiple copies of the same weapon. I'm not sure why they're doing that. Very, very frustrating. You can't run and gun at all because you've got a goddamn sniper. Go. Holding it down. That's what we like to see. Come on. Come on. Here comes Zazu. Okay, five backups on the way. Oh, but that one's shooting back, you motherfucker. What? Since when can the mushrooms shoot guns? Oh, the power's on. <gasps> the power's on? Yes, the power's on. <laughs> Cavalry's here. Oh, that couldn't have been any more perfect timing. What are they doing? What the hell are they doing? I don't understand mushroom behavior. As soon as I think I figured them out, they pull out bloody LMGs and then they're doing all sorts of... Weird rituals in there. 
Stand back, stand back, stand back, stand back. I wonder if it's because we went behind the door. We, we threw them off. Nice. Get out of the way of the guns. Get out of the way of the guns. I think Bella just got winged there. Yeah, she's fine, though. She's okay. She's okay. Backup's arrived. Timon, give them hell. Well, you joined us for killing the last two. Okay, get in there. Rescue Chef. Holy shit, that was cool, though. Talk about great timing on just everything at once. Rescue Chef, and then it is Mariana infected. I'm not sure her heart could take it again. <gasps> on the plus side, Combat Command did work while he's down. So that was kind of big brain. Shame that it didn't fucking work at all. <laughs> Absolutely no benefit whatsoever. Uh, you, okay, you could run off or you could, like, save their lives. What the fuck do you think you're doing? What the hell is wrong with you? Get over here. Rescue them. That was amazing. That was amazing. I took a gamble, okay? The gamble, uh, you could argue, has paid off. But what a gamble it was. We could have very easily lost Will and Mariana then. And we have to spend a load of medicine to patch them back up. Is there any permanent damage for that? Okay, so we need the cure for Mariana. That's fine. Let's, uh... I think we've got to remove the spores, let her transform, and then uh, uh, and then blast her again with the with the nullifier, and that should hopefully fix her problems. What about Chef? Is Chef okay? Did he also get aggression spores? He did, so they both got infected there, but Chef should be fine. I'm telling you, this mushroom is too intelligent. It landed specifically on Chef Will and Mariana's bedroom. You've seen it with your own eyes at this point. Massive credit to the Ancient Point defense turrets. In fact, because they've got fire at drop pods, and that was within the radius. Do you think it may have took some out? Obviously, I was paying attention to Timon at the time, but I wonder if that works. We'll have to keep a closer eye on it next time. I, I don't I don't like the idea of, oh, the game stuttered, let's immediately jump back. That does seem like metagaming a little bit, but hey, you've got to suspend a little disbelief now and again. Okay, so top priority then is we'll throw down, uh, similar to what we've got going on over here, what did I say, 10 by 10? By 10? So something like that. Throw these down on the other parts of this entrance and lock this area down. And then we do the same over here because of course we've already expanded out to that one. That means that taking this one over, this one over, this one over is only, again, one each if we do want to do that. As in, like, one more defensive emplacement each, which isn't really that expensive in terms of steel, right? 288 steel for all this defense. It's, it's damn worth it. We'll tidy up the edges. And I'll do the same thing we've got going on there because that seems to be working quite well where we clear out all the cars in front of it. And then throw down some of those floodlights and then throw down some turrets as well. We'll leave the other ones where they are. It couldn't hurt to keep all of this illuminated. Then we'll have to run along here, I guess, and brick all these walls up too, just so they haven't got a quicker path through that. My plan then, very simple. We grab this one. I think we turn it into half hydroponics, half hospital. Uh, as much as I love a dedicated hydroponics building and a dedicated hospital building, we haven't really got need for either right now. Someone is shooting at something. What was that? One, one got back up, probably. Uh, are you allowed to get back up? No, 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 no. Rest until healed. What about Mariana? No, 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 no. Rest until healed. Kai, sorry. What are you doing? Okay, okay. Well, that one's got back up, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, here. Come in here. Come in here. Shoot that one for me. Kai, you need to be getting on with these operations, my friend. This is why we need to dedicate the hospital, because we're currently dragging medicine between two different buildings. Hey, you know where I've got some medicine? Kapow. There you go. Enjoy. Eat up. If anything happens to that helicopter, we are going to be set back months. <laughs> Do we need any more batteries? Really, I should reinstall the batteries we've got maybe into like little... Little rooms over here, actually. Couldn't hurt. If we roof over this bit, that's pretty sensible. Maybe, dare I say it, we go for some fire foam poppers as well. Oh, my feeling unwell. What's happening? One will... Back to normal? Oh, Kai! What's the copium this time for Kai not being good at surgery, huh? 120% manipulation, not good enough? The crypto sleep suspender... Oh, what do you mean 56%? Because outdoors? <laughs> <laughs> the abrasions don't count as a room. You're right, I didn't think it'd be that impactful, though, I will admit. Okay, okay, fine, fine. We'll put the damn hospital in a second. Luckily, we have a tremendous amount of medicine, so we can just try and try again. There we go. Okay, and now for Will. He's out of the picture for a few days anyway. Ooh. He got a neck infection, but luckily he's totally fine. It's probably this lovely hospital room he's got, to be honest. And Bazinga. There you go. Okay, so they're all good as new. We've got the nullifier ready to use on Mariana the second she transforms, basically. Oh, I wish there was a way that we could invent a method of preventing this infection. Right, uh, some sort of device similar to the cure, maybe cheaper than the cure, that you can use before it completely sets in. If only there was some sort of advanced cure research. Oh, would you look at that? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brain Kai's had a lot of time to do a lot of thinking. She's been able to reflect on all the things we've learned since the vault and how a uh, cure didn't really work. Sure, it cures our people. It puts them in a coma for three days, but we can't use it on the people that originally we wanted to cure. 
all of the mushrooms. Maybe if we were able to build Kai a research lab, she could she could plan it out. She could think things through, and maybe she could come up with some sort of advanced cure for the mushrooms. Maybe we won't live long enough to get a research lab set up. That's what we should do. Research lab and hospital in one building, and then we could have Stover? Hello? Research lab and hospital in one building, and then maybe hydroponics and... We head up here, uh, and maybe go hydroponics and, uh, like a dining area in another building. That could be good. Oh my god, a restaurant. Oh no! A lot of people did suggest it, but... I don't have enough hydroponics to fill an entire building, so maybe that's what we do. Hydroponics plus restaurant. Goes off the screen, but you understand. First, first things first, the defenses are my very, very top priority. So let's oscillate the doors like that. Not for any particular reason other than the fact that it looks lovely. Oh my god, it happened. Oh no, Mariana. When you were free, they've pulled you right back in. I I've got a cure right away. Oh shit, and they immediately gained the aggression spores, don't they? I totally forgot about that. Chest flying, he was neutralized, right? The, the gene was removed and then we removed the temporary ones afterwards. Mariana's gonna have to blast herself. Sorry, Mariana. I can't believe this has happened again. If we're expanding out over towards these new sections, we're gonna have to remove all the crap in the way. Otherwise, there's no point building. Turrets are burning floodlights. We've got a tremendous amount of work to do. <laughs> Let's drop down the... Let's drop down the deconstruction for a lot of people. Let's put some more people on deconstruction, though. Obviously, they can't botch deconstructing something. Gift that keeps on giving. Ah, thank you, Will. That's another... Well, okay. We killed one cut scar, and now we've only got another hundred left to go. You lost an entire leg. When the hell did that happen? Timon? Apparently, someone called Red with their infector mouth. Must be how he became... Oh, forgot it. Well, I haven't got any legs. We're going to have to do another Bucko drink. Must be how I became a mushroom in the first place, right? Sorry, Timon, for blaming you. To be fair, though, you have bitten off two limbs now. In the grand scheme of things, two is not a big number, but that is two limbs too many. One of them was an eyeball, which is just disgusting. I think they finally finished connecting it all up. No! Okay, we missed a tiny little bit here, but there's a bold goods trader, which is far more important. Friend Incorporated. Oh, I really wish they would be. Excuse me, I need a ridiculous amount of steel. Because the next thing we do is build a bloody hospital. I might have to go on another trip soon, but it's been a little while since we've had a raid, so I'm not taking any risks. Let's slap down hospital slash research lab. Maybe even our, our quarantine building, something like that. Oh, wait, hang on. Before we do that, I should probably brick up some of these other buildings. Otherwise, they can basically just run past, like, most of our defenses, right? Look, look. From a million miles away. God, Jesus, these turrets have a ridiculous sightline. wonder if it's more the floodlights than the turrets. Either way, look. There's a group of them moving between the two, so I imagine... Hold on, let's get the squad together. I imagine they're going to move past here. So we can get ourselves a little bit of an early warning system going on. We can we can set up in a place where we can cut them off before they start disappearing to all the buildings. Oh, shit. This has worked so well. I mean, I'm not happy to see this many. Yeah, come on, fight. By all means. <laughs> Tim and hold the line. Reinforcements are on the way. Oh, God. Uh, shoot that one fast. Shit. Don't let them break the door. Don't, don't break the door, though. Timon, repair the auto door. Oh, my God. Okay, and then hopefully everyone else can pop in and finish them off before this gets a bit messy. Nice. Great work. Great work. Holy shit. Something's happening over here. What was that, visitor? What was that? Town Councilman of Hostile Survivors passing through. God damn. Okay, hold on. Let's just check the other directions, too. Couldn't hurt to check all sides. This is so good. This has worked so bloody well. Now, bear in mind, I haven't bricked this stuff up yet, so they could still pass through the buildings, but... I mean, we, we can just see them now from a bloody mile away. And, and when we push it up towards the top here, too, we're going to see them actually go to the uh, to the external walls. You will you will never get this. You will never get this. See, see we weren't able to break this up, so they managed to break through here. But again, it doesn't really matter because they're immediately sandwiched between two turrets. And the minimum range of the turrets covers that whole area. They are only basic military turrets, right? But it's fine. It's about being able to hear the gunshots more than anything. Okay, okay, that's that side dealt with. There, there have got to be a lot more just hanging around. Here's what we'll do. We'll send... Uh, let's send three over this way. Careful. Careful there. Careful there. Careful there. It's, it's temporary. Okay? It's a temporary thing that we won't have to worry about in a second when we finish bricking it all up. Now imagine this when we actually get, like, better turrets rather than ancient security turrets that we've just scavenged up. Imagine this with, with, with also cannon turrets. Throw down some of the big guys. Look at the range on that, too. That's absolutely nuts. <laughs> Holy shit. We've also had... Oh, Tim, what happened? Bruce from a charge LMG. I'm going to assume that wasn't one of the mushrooms. Trait changed. Savannah has lost the trait. Oh, gained the trait, slob. Savannah. Is that like a hygiene thing? 
Uh, no, they just leave more trash and dirt everywhere. Brilliant, thank you. I think we're safe to undraft. By all means, carry on. Live your life. The answer is no, we're not. There's a couple of stragglers, but I think the turrets have probably... Oh, no, there's more than a couple of stragglers. Yeah, let's see how the turrets can handle it. We can't keep our people drafted up for like 24 hours solid. That's going to be a nightmare. Okay, they did actually get down into the base. The reason they're getting down here so quick, right, is because we haven't got this wall sealed up quite yet. What are you firing at? Still more coming from that way. Careful, 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 careful. Note to self, stop putting people in the bio batteries. Turns out it really doesn't like it. I'm going to speed up a little bit now because I've got, a, I've got a kind of mad suggestion. All of this stuff over here, I want it partly done. I want it at least partly finished. I want it, at the very minimum, started. Look at all these goddamn security crates. One, two, three, four, so far. People have pointed out, by the way, that if we swap Timon's armor and Banana's armor, then they would match. Banana would then have the brown armor, brown helmet, and Timon would have blue armor, blue helmet. We could do that. Or they could be a color-coordinated squad. Oh, my God. Look at all of these security crates. Okay, crack them open. Oh! Hello there. How you doing? Um... You've got some terrible news. You may have mutated while you're in your crypto sleep. We have one cataphract helmet. We have one elbow blade, which is absolutely no use. Come on. Show me some sort of climate thing. What is that? Side trainer for Flash Storm and a Neuroformer. How dare you? How dare you? And more bloody Neuroformers. This is the worst trade deal I've ever seen. And then you give me 185 steel to top it off. How dare you? Give me those marble blocks. That's actually quite good. D just in case I haven't made this clear, the real ruins, the things that spawn on the map, are people's bases, which are uploaded to a server if they've got the real ruins mod installed. And then you download, like, their bases when it spawns them out in the world. Somebody legitimately built that, that enormous golden research bench. It's a hell of a flex. I can't deny it. No, we can't take it with us. Whoa, 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 please. No! Ah, oh, boo! Okay, that's fine. I wasn't going to go and hunt that down. Good starts. Good starts is what we like to see. More of these security crates, if you don't mind. More ancients freed for Timon's private army. Okay, good enough. That'll do. Climate adjuster. Psychic shot lance. Oh, that is interesting. It shocks the target's minds with chaotic images blocking coherent perception and dropping them into a state of psychic shock. All of the mushrooms... Right now, Chef Will included. Share a hive mind? If we blast one mushroom with a shot lance, it should in theory blast every mushroom, right? Timon, you might have just found us two free raids, effectively. Blast one of the raids with it, it takes the whole thing out, and then we just walk around and finish them off. I really do appreciate when people build their entire bases out of steel. Thank you. You've, you've given me a, a massive gift here, and that is hopefully the ability to build a hospital. We didn't find that much raw steel, but we've got enough to probably make it work. Go, my lemmings, go. Build us a hospital. Please, God, build anything. Big Brain Kai needs all the help she can get. What is going on with this power grid? It's killing me. What the, what the, what the fuck have I plugged in? I've turned shit off since then, and we, we're just not making any power. What are we powering? Turrets? What are the turrets use of? 80. 80 watts. No, 80 times what? 80 times 8? That's nothing. That's 640 watts. Where is all my power going? I don't understand. I'm being bullied. Kind of like everything. We've got the we've got the essentials. We've got like heaters and then the water related stuff. Okay, we've got a hot tub. Okay, 500 watts on the hot tub. But that's essential. Okay, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna have to add this on. Dedicated, dedicated wham. Dedicated power, uh, power power block. Oh well, I see the problem. Efficiency 20% on the ancient batteries. Are you joking? The way battery efficiency works in Rimrim, and I don't know how this game works, so please don't trust me. I've only played for 8,000 hours, and I'm clearly just a clown on the internet. If you're producing 1,000 watts excess in power, and you've only got a 20% efficient battery, that means only 200 watts of it will be stored, which is garbage. Regular battery is only 50%, but that's still a step up, right? Uh, these do work more efficiently in a, in a solar flare? Okay. Right, so like like 1% of the time it's more efficient. I, I think I'm good, actually. I think we'll just straight up swap these out. Another bulk goods trader. You could send me an exotic goods trader. I really wouldn't complain. Whenever you're quite ready, that would be lovely. I don't have anything to sell. I feel like I'm trading all the all our important stuff for more bloody steel again. Take this jade. Take a little bit of uranium because we're not using that for well, anything right now. Take the hyperweave. Take some medicine. We don't need 145 medicine. Get out. Oh, you know what? If I want a sterile floor over this entire thing, which I don't, by the way, because that would be lunacy. If I did, hypothetically, what sort of cost are we looking at? 3,000 steel, 13,000 silver. Right. Uh, what I will do is sell some stuff just to make enough silver so that we can set up an efficient hospital. Even if I only build like a quarter of this base up to be, to be the hospital, 
that's better than what we've got. But which is, as a reminder, a suspender technically outside. I, I might regret this. I'm going to sell some Bionics, and then I'm going to take every penny they've got, or at least as close as I can get by trading the rest of it for Plasteel. Oh, hello? What was that? What was that? Hello? Sir? Sir, we're closed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, was this drop pod raid? What is this? Uh, everybody come back to here. Is anybody in danger? Big Brain Kai, she's the only one incapable of violence. That's what I'm most concerned about. Oh, cream sweep. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, You could just launch yourself behind those embrasures and kill them dead. Oh, nice. God damn, that was cool. There's like the occasional gunshot here and there. Occasional gunshots here and there. I need to assign... Oh, what's our very outer edges? Like here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's take you two and put you there. And with this... Oh, shit. They mine through the wall. Whoa. I'm not that bothered because obviously this part of the base has more turrets than anywhere else. Okay, let's put them like that. And then let's save that as a... Uh, as their defensive positions. If we do this and then force by the middle four with more turrets, it's going to keep us as, about as safe as we can get. We'll give it a couple of hours, see if anything else turns up, see if there's any more gunfire. If not, I can hear like the occasional shot, but God knows where the hell that's coming from. I think at this point, I'm going to assume we're safe. I think we're probably all right. Ooh, they did breach a wall there. Look at that. Now we won't even know if there are any out there. Because we're out of power again. I feel like I'm missing some obvious massive power guzzler, but I really don't think I am. Okay, so somebody's got a mop thrower, okay? I get it. I get it. It's a bit of a mess. This is infinitely better than anything we've got before. I've got the hydroponic set up, which admittedly we didn't have as many as I thought we had minified. Then I'm going to throw down some more solar generators because this power grid, it's, it's fighting for its life out here. I just cannot seem to get this thing to not go offline. So I'll put the hospital up front, and then behind that, we'll slap down a research lab. Honestly, I don't want to go too hard on the research lab because there's barely any research I'm, I'm, I'm particularly interested in. A research bench, and then maybe a multi-analyzer, and probably that's it, to be honest. We could always put like a, like a machining table or something and have the nullifier stacked up, or a, uh, a drug slab. Shit, a bioscultor. Not a bad idea. I haven't got the power for it right now. The ancient chem fuel power generator would probably put out enough power to keep our 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 infinite chem reactors running and to keep itself online. But the question is, do we have enough power to actually kickstart the bloody thing in the first place? Let's slap it down somewhere and see what happens. Oh, shit. When you minify, it keeps the fuel it had before. So we've already got enough for 12 days worth of fuel. That puts out 4,000 watts. So if we turn all of those on... Shit, we're totally fine. That's only 1,200. Net gain of 2,800 watts plus all the extra chem fuel because it's not going to guzzle like that fast, or at least I certainly bloody hope not. Do we have any more of those? Because those are a... Oh, shit. Those are a certified club banger. Get these things out of here. I mean, I don't want to reload anymore. I've had enough of the battery tanks. Found another hydroponics. It was down the back of the sofa. Okay, there we go. Forgot that we had all of this crap in here too. Oh, my God. I've had so many of these for so long. Oh, no. Have these been here all along? I mean, obviously they have. They haven't just appeared out of nowhere. Uh. <laughs> well, now that we've got the chem reactors, I can justify it. I was a little scared of doing it before, right? Because we didn't have any way to make chem fuel. But with this, 75 chem fuel in 4.5 days. Is that you top it up with, with 30 chem fuel for 12 days? Shit. So one chem reactor, what, one, one, one generator can run like shit, like 13 chem reactors. But one chem reactor is enough to run... Enough to run two and a half power generators, right? Oh, yes. It is big brain time. Eventually, we'll move all of this stuff out into a dedicated power facility. But this is quite nice just to have in the, in the kind of safest area of the city currently. It's midnight, and we now have a grid excess of 4,100 watts. Round of applause, please. Man, I've got loads of ancient hydroponics. God damn it. Okay, well, I did build this building based solely around the amount of hydroponics I had, so I can, I can take some creative liberties, okay? We love build base here. Well, we've got this power grid on absolute lockdown. Not only have I been able to turn everything back on, so the weird shit like Psychic Emanators or Mariana's Xbox 360 gaming console, I can take a few more liberties with actually what they've got, right? So all of this old hydroponics stuff that I just had, like, a comms console and crap in there, I've given them a proper kitchen. Because we've got two damn chefs. Proper room to store food and things like that. A, a dining room. What the fuck kind of meal is that? I'm revoking your chef license. I c I I'm able to build cameras all over the base. The, the cameras are only 30 watts each, right? But when you are trying to get an eye on everything, because you don't want a, a, a little mushroomy fella to be hiding behind your bedroom door that you haven't been in for, say, 12 hours or whatever. 22 cameras at 30 watts each, it does add up. Especially the outdoor cameras that are 110. Of course, I've got to throw those down everywhere too so that we can... 
keep an eye on everything. It's all very, very necessary because we never know where those drop pods are going to land. I mean, apparently everybody in Chef Will's bedroom. Oh, I figured it out. I know exactly what I'm going to do with this big, long room. Get this shit out of here. Where am I going to put the comms console? Because admittedly, that is quite useful. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> Am I about to take about the comms console for this idea? Yes. For years, it haunted us. Its echoes rang through the empty city and filled me personally with dread. And now I rebuild it as, as, a, as a symbol, as a defiance in the face of nature and God. Basketball. This is the best way I could build it, okay? This is the best I could build There are no circles in RimWorld. No longer shall we be gripped by fear at the sound of a ball bouncing off a backboard. Wood battered by our own hand. Not through mushroom people. This is a symbol of pride and power and control of this city, of which I think we have wrestled. But people have paid the price. Will is a mushroom. Mariana was a mushroom. Savannah became a mushroom. Lust was a mushroom. The damage has stacked up since we got here. Cut scars and gunshots from friendly fire in a desperate attempt for, su for, su for survival. For survival. <laughs> now standing in the way of the precipice of my greatest achievement, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Fear itself. Gone. Play your basketball, please. Play it proudly. Play it loudly. Let the world know that we're here. Please, someone play it, please. I dedicate the whole room to this. You know I, what a lovely bathroom I could have built up here instead. I could have expanded out the defenses. Please, someone play basketball. Anyone? No, 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 come back, come back. I messed up my speech. No, no, I said the word wrong. The amount of times this happens where I say a word wrong mid-speech and then, then they disappear and then I just have to cut the whole thing out and it's really embarrassing. Not to anybody but me because no one else will ever know. But I still know deep in my heart. I came at this with a grand idea, a grand notion of taking back massive chunks of this city. And truth be told, we've taken more than I thought. And honestly, I don't think we need to take any more. We've already got far too much room for this few too many people. So our goal shifts now to curing, recruiting, saving the lives of these people, fortifying this paradise that we've built, an oasis in this otherwise spooky mushroomy desert. And of course, deciding what we will do with our heroes. Do they deserve that happy ending? Perhaps when they've set up a, a, a human beachhead, a... a, a peninsula for the thriving humanity maybe then they leave and they move on to their happy ending who knows all i can tell you is this series has five days left to find a satisfactory ending because then dare i say it it is de says december the first and we have a tradition on this channel it's called raising my blood pressure at the beginning of every december through non-stop mod fixing thank you all for joining me today a thank you especially goes out to squinty chimera a fell tale dead degrees spongy 1312 deadly black belt ophelia Bolzich, el zilcho swall quackers ooh lundart archbishop daffod nz elias christopher briers izzy claire cast the pathfinder mutabullis crow skull bobka and Prince of Typhos for their support today the executive producer is over on patreon thank you for being here thank you for joining me in the uh, the height, I think, of Chef Will's empire. I don't want to call it an empire. That has negative connotations. It's an empire for good. But I think most empires are associated with bad. Thanks, Star Wars. Thank you as well to Tsubasa, Ethel Red, the Undeady, Tiny Legs, NZ Smithsy, Amazing Moosh, Justin Wallace, Arxus Arctos, 10,000 pounds of flags, J520,000, Quantex, Space Drake, Butch Werewolf, James Beaton, Luna Chandelier, and Big Sawaro. Thank you. My voice is falling apart, and now I can't speak any longer. Goodbye. Thank you for being here. I'll see you all very soon. Bye. See ya. Bye.